Hi! So, this is going to be my summer favorites slash my most worn. I was going to do a July favorites, but it's way late for that now. Um, so, I just decided I was just going to make a summer favorites video. Um, I had a lot more stuff, but it was taking way too long and my video got taken down for being too long because I'm not a partner anymore. Or I don't have the ability to upload videos longer than 15 minutes. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to make this super duper snappy. Um, yeah. So I'm going to start with clothes. I have only two pieces and I know that sounds weird for only a summer, but um, it's really the stuff that I wore the most. There wasn't anything consistent that I wore as much as these things. Um, first thing is a pair of jeans that I got from Urban Outfitters and these jeans are probably the best jeans I own. Um, they're the comfortable, like they're the most comfortable jeans I've ever had ever in my life and they're form fitting and they make my butt look really good and it's a really cute color. Um, it's my favorite color right now and it is mint green. These are kind of more green than I thought they would be, but that's okay. Um, they're just super duper cute. And yeah, these are the BDG cigarette high rise. So they're kind of high waisted and the legs are kind of shorter or they're, they're more narrow. So they kind of fit to your ankles more, um, which is my perfect cut of jean because I really like um, how long they make my legs look because my legs are really long already but these make my legs look super duper long and they're really cute and they're so comfortable um, they were kind of they were they were pretty expensive um, I'm not saying like $200 but they were to me <laughs> they're expensive um, they were probably 50 or $60 so if you have the extra money that you don't know what to do with and you really want a good pair of jeans, go with the BDG brand because they are the best jeans. And if you know what size you are, you might have to kind of like play around with different sizes. I got way too big ones the first time and then I went a size down. I'm 27 by 30, which is men's, like that's how men's stuff is usually. Um, I'm a 27 by 30 so these fit perfectly um so yeah there's that I'm done rambling about that because I just took like three minutes um this shirt is another one I got this from Target um probably early early summer and I got an extra large because I like throwing things on like I just like throwing lightweight stuff on especially during the summer because I don't want to throw on a cardigan and then be like it's so hot um but this is kind of it's it looks like I don't know it reminds me of Eliza Thornberry and the reason I say that is because these little things always remind me of like a safari person I don't know if that makes sense to anybody but it does to me so I'll just yeah anyway so this is like it's just an oversized denim shirt and I just wear it like a jacket like I am today. Um, my dress, by the way, is from Forever 21, and yeah, anyway. Um, so next is, I guess, accessories, and so I got this wallet from Target, and I think it was on clearance for maybe five dollars um i'm gonna take my license out because anyway i just like that and if you have a smartphone i.e a i.e an iphone you can put it up in there and it has little straps hold on let me just do a live demo here but you put straps on it like that this is like a little like that and then it it's like a little it's a carry-all for just your stuff if you're running into the grocery store or if you're running in somewhere that you're just gonna come right back out or like the gas station or something this would be really cute or this would be like a really good thing um anyway so I took my iPhone case off because it wouldn't fit because 
it may or may not have ears. Um, yeah. Oh, you can't see it because my wall is white now. How about that? Anyway, look at it. It's so cute. And it even has little paws. You can't see it. Ugh. Why? It has little paws. But I just thought that was really, really cute. And I got it on Amazon for maybe $5. And I love it. And it's silicone, so, like, you know the bunny, um, like that bunny phone case? And it has, like, the two ears way up here. That's, like, hard plastic, and it'll break. But this is silicone, so it, like, it bends and whatever. Anyway, moving on to makeup, I guess. No, I lied. My... <laughs> is going to have some mixed mixed feelings from whoever's watching, but I got this at Ross for maybe $10, and I don't know the brand. It didn't have a label on it. It just had a sticker for $10 on it, so I was like, okay, because I just thought it was really cute. I got this forever ago, but I forgot I had it, and I just wanted to resurface it for this year. Um, yeah, so... My mom calls it my Woodstock bag because it looks it it looks like a a grandma carpet bag. I don't know, but I just really like it and it's really big and it holds all my stuff. So it's whatever. Um, next is makeup, and I guess this falls into the makeup category. I don't know, but to refresh my hair between washes so it doesn't like lose the color and make it all gross looking. Um, Manic Panic in Infrared, and it seriously looks like straight up fake blood. Um, it's like the darkest red ever, and it seriously looks like fake blood. It's awesome. Um, but anyway, I've been using that. I've been mixing it in with some conditioner just to kind of refresh my color. And then my last thing for makeup is Garnier BB Cream, and this stuff is amazing. I've worn it probably every day. And it's just because it has SPF in it. So it's really been helping my skin like get healthy and not break out when I'm in the sun and all that. So it's just an all around super product. Um, and my last thing is shoes. Yes, I only have two pairs of shoes um, because I don't really... I, I haven't been traveling that much, I guess, but if I did travel, I did travel a lot, actually, um, but these have been so great. These, I made these, by the way. Um, I made these moccasins, and I made them last year around this time, and yeah, they've just gotten a lot of wear and tear, obviously, because, I mean, that's normal, right? Um, but yeah. That's, they're, sorry, they're dirty. I don't know how to clean the insoles. Um, and if I take them out, they're just going to be useless, but whatever. Anyway, last pair of shoes, and then I'll go. Um, I got these at the Converse outlet. And I've been seeing these so much um, through, like, style blogs and just picture or not pictures. What's that other thing? Videos what what are words um anyway i got these at the converse outlet in st augustine and they were probably about 50 or 60 dollars i don't know if that's 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 a good price right for converse i don't know anyway that is that's it i think yep is that it see that's it for now. Um, my next video will be hair and I guess a tutorial on how I do it. I don't know. But I didn't have to, my hair is like naturally dark brown and I didn't have to bleach it at all. So you can see, yay, regrowth. Anyway, that's it. Um, I hope you liked it and um, I have a bunch of other videos coming up, but I'm going to end this before it's too long again. Okay.